Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today and Happy New Year! My first video of 2022 um, and I'm excited to bring you this beautiful flowering fields suite. Um, it's tulips and I don't know if you can see here how we have these beautiful almost 3D uh, effect tulips. Brushed brass butterflies, quite a mouthful, I always get it wrong. Um, gorgeous ribbon and of course stunning DSP. I'm going to bring the catalogue in just very briefly because it does go live today. This is the beautiful suite that I'm using. Um, there is another stamp and die bundle in with it too so it's a double, double whammy. Um, but yeah as you can see gorgeous um, options here. You can see without me sort of going into too much um, the fabulous dies that we have that coordinate. I'm using this one today um, but of course this will be featuring at some point. But yeah absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to bring the DSP in because I don't think that the catalogue reflects it properly because it is gorgeous. So as you can see we have this gorgeous this is my off cut so ignore that part but you have this gorgeous pattern of colour here which I absolutely adore and I think it's going to be a, a favourite out of all the sheets then we have this watercolour effect on the back of course we get two sheets of each this one that I've already used on my box and the reverse of that is watercolour as well this is the paper I'm going to be using today now I did notice on the um, if I can find it quickly enough, on the um, catalogue, that it does look like it has a white background, but it is actually very pale, I suspect, mango melody. It's almost a peachy colour, um, but that's why I wanted to show you them, because I knew that it, it didn't quite reflect greatly. Um, beautiful patterns here. This is Poppy Parade, again with a lovely... I think they're gorgeous, upside down for you guys, but yeah, like almost like red clouds, fabulous. Um, and then we have this one, which again, I love just the stripe of those. You can just imagine all those poppy fields, can't you? I just love it. And um, that one has like a green background, pear pizzazz, and then this is my actual favourite. I absolutely love this and can't wait to use it. I was going to use it today and then I thought, no, save it. Save it for something good. Um, and then another sort of cloud stroke watercolour background. But yeah, absolutely stunning. 12 by 12. Um, so yes, definitely a lovely, lovely set. Um, so yeah, so today we're just going to make a basic box. Um, I want to show you the product products um, more than my ability. Um, I know that a lot of people are just so lovely with the comments they make for my projects. Um, but it is only down to... The products that I use that allow my projects to look as good as they do. Um, as I say it is just a simple box but it's a nice size with sort of the new year we're going to have but oops focus and um, we're going to have birthdays and Easter and all manner of craziness aren't we and maybe even Mother's Day um, to think about so let's let's get ahead let's prepare um, but yeah gorgeous box and gorgeous paper um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get this done. So as always, it is just a basic box as I say. So we're going to start with the base, which is the card stock. And the base is 8 by 11, so it's just shy uh, less than an A4 sheet. Um, so yeah, when you do cut it down, you're literally taking that bit off. Keep hold of this because this is ideal as the shim for your lid. So base is 8 by 11, 28 by 21 centimetres. And we're simply going to score all four sides at one and a half inches, which will be four centimetres. Okay, so some of you eagled eyed ones, mind you, it's not hard to notice. We'll notice that I've got this wonderful. Um, like rubber thimble. As you know I have a damaged nail. Um, it doesn't grow, it drives me crazy um, and unfortunately because of how it is I, it does give me then more reason to chew it. Um, so it never grows um, 
I am due, <laughs> due to have my nails done um, next week so I have a little while to wait but the nail polish always falls off that one and I am really conscious about it probably making it stand out even more now I've got this thimble on it however it does stop me picking at it so obviously I take it off when I'm busy but if I'm sat watching the TV it kind of stops me <laughs> chewing on it um, but yeah I have no nail polish left and it's just unsightly and to be fair this is actually really handy for picking up stuff anyway so <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that okay so fold and burnish your score lines then cut all four corners why do you keep going out of focus camera um no i'm on automatic focus oh no i'm not there we go um yeah so cut um your four corners and then we're just going to add some adhesive as i say i have become quite um quite uh fond of wet glue um just lately um i'm also mindful that it's i suspect is it more environmentally friendly because um i'm not using plastic with the um seal you know with the plastic that the actual tape rolls on and then equally the actual dispenser etc I don't know I'm just and it's cheaper <laughs> who doesn't like cheaper this time of the year okay so that's the base we're going to do exactly the same now with the lid the lid is slightly smaller so it's 10 by 7 uh, 25 by 18 and we're going to score all of our sides at one inch which is two and a half centimeters and don't forget your shim use the card that you're using for your base um, because it's the same thickness and then we're just going to go all the way around I have so many new pro products out of this new catalogue um, so many that I haven't yet played with and I've just like everybody else I'm sure have been busy and had the family at home and it's just been quite impossible to um, to just get anything done and just I don't want to do anything <laughs> just because everybody else is at home doing very little and so I really want to just get back into my routine does anybody else feel like that love having everybody at home love spending time with everybody but yeah geez I'm ready for them to go back and actually have some routine back into my life <laughs> I'll be craving them to be home but as soon as they've been back a couple of days I'll just be like I wish you were back home I miss you and then they'll be home at the weekend and I'll be like, please go back to work. <laughs> Can't win, either way. Okay, so again, exactly the same principle here. Fold, burnish, cut our corners. Now, I'm not going to put this on because I want to add my decoration before I go any further. So, I am going to use my Snail Plus simply because I find this um, ideal. This untar and tape is perfect, I think, for using uh, for adhering ribbon. So I'm going down to this bottom corner here. This is the gorgeous ribbon that comes with it. So it's Evening Evergreen uh, Window Pane Check Ribbon. Why they can't come up with shorter titles for things? <laughs> so I'm just going to put a couple of strips of this on here. I have a nice clean craft room as well, which is another reason why I want to get in here just itching to no not make a mess get just get back in and have a play in a tidy room okay so there's my score line so I'm gonna put that one there and that one there and then I want which I didn't get I knew that was one thing promised to be more organised this year but that's not really happening is it some of my basic white and my lovely mango melody and then as I say I'm bringing in this 
lovely, lovely flowering tulips stamp. 18 photopolymer images, so you can create for hours with this. Um, it's wonderful. So I'm going to go with this round sentiment here. You are so thoughtful, thank you. Which again, I think is just lovely. Pop it on the block, ink it up and then stamp and scrub, my favourite item ever. Let's get rid of that. And then I'm just going to trim that. I think that needs re-inking actually because I've got a bit of an ombre effect going on there. <laughs> so, in with my lovely little mini cut and emboss, which is my absolute mm, second favourite, I think, just because it's so handy. Um, and I've got my layering circles just to die cut that out. Let's move these out of the way now. So I'm just going to pop that on there and just run that through. And then pop that out. Okay, so that's my lovely sentiment there, die cut out, and I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back ready. I think I probably used too many there, but that's okay. And that will sit sort of in the centre. And then I have pre-die cut these parts, and I will show you in a moment which ones they are. So Evening Evergreen stamped on Evening Evergreen cardstock. These are the tulip dies. As I said, there are lots of them. My leaves are this smaller die here and have been stamped with this smaller leaf here. And then, I've, as I say, I've die cut those out. This piece here is the piece I've used for the insert, which is die cut in mango melody and as you can see or can you see it doesn't emboss oh there we go it embosses on it as well so it is really pretty and then I've used these two pieces here and I will show you they come out like so so they look a bit odd but that's because we're going to fold them these two have embossed on them and then if you look carefully, you can see there is, whoops, come on, focus, focus. There is score lines. So just very gently, if it helps use a nail to just guide it, fold that over, which gives you that shape. And then obviously we're going to pop this one just inside. Okay, and if I bring my original box back in, you can see how they look. And then exactly the same with this one. Be a little gentler with this one because it has got quite a thin piece at the bottom there. But this equally will tuck in and then you can just sort of rearrange the centre part to where you want it. And those are how you create your tulip. So I'm going to bring in some of my Tombow or wet glue. And I'm just going to adhere that piece in there. And I'm just going to fold it over while I fiddle a little bit to get it where I want it before the glue dries. And then I'm actually just going to add some adhesive to that part. And that's because... I sort of want that to curl open a little bit and then I'm just going to grab a peg to hold, <coughs> excuse me, hold that in place. So I'm going to repeat that process now with this one. Pop it on the back and then again just fold round and give it a fiddle and then again I'm just adding some adhesive on that piece that went a little bit crazy. 
and again just pop a peg on that one to hold it in place. Right, so take the pegs off my base because I don't need that anymore. Um, don't need that, don't need that. So the next thing then is to pop these um, leaves on. I'm going to, I did use wet glue on my other one, but I'm going to use glue dots on this one just because I think they'll be um, slightly quicker and easier. So I'm just adding a couple of glue dots on there and pop that one there. Whoops. And then another. Oops. So that one I think will go a bit more that way. And then this one, my last leaf here. Oh, come on. Get rid of that. One will go up there, I think that's better. And then again, let's pop some glue dots on the back of here. Oops. And that one will sit. So I need to sort of pop that there for placement. So that's going to go about there. And this one, get some glue dots on this one. This one will sit there. And then just take the backings off these and then we just need to make our lid up and then we're done. Pop that on there like so. Don't forget the brushed brass butterflies. And I'm just using a couple of the small ones. Look how shiny they are. They're lovely. So they come in two sizes, so you've got the smaller and the larger ones here. And I'm just going to add these little ones to my flowers and one on there. And then as I say, it is just a case. I think actually I'm just going to use some, again, just for um, speed for this really. Just add some to my tabs here. And then I can make my lid and my box. That one can go on there. And then that I'll tuck in. <coughs> Excuse me, a little frog. Make sure the bottom's all in. upside down and there we go there you have my lovely lovely what did I call them flowering fields box <laughs> so there they are lovely tulips lovely pattern DSP thank you for joining me again happy new year and I hope to see you all again soon bye